metabolism at all. I just have bricks of cheese in my belly. Of course people underestimate me. You know why? Because I don't walk around talking like this all day, but honestly, if I did, do you know, I would probably have like a million followers. Yes, most of them would hate on me, but if I just smiled and combed my hair all the time and made sure that my nails were always done and I really could, like, if I could actually muster the energy to talk like this, like, all day, you know what I mean? And just really be super like, oh my God, girl, no, listen, right? Yeah. I'm so happy that everybody is here. Like, it's such a beautiful day. It's so nice to see you guys. So if you want to talk about carb cutting, let's do it. Carb cutting realistically is not the whole go-to because you need carbs when you're working out. Smart carbs. Talking like that makes me want to kill myself. I think most of the women who do talk like that are on a lot of prescription pills. I say this because I know a couple of girls who talk like that. Some of whom on the show I'm on. And they're on a lot of fucking prescription pills. And I just, I don't do drugs, so. I don't do drugs today. Okay, I don't do drugs tomorrow. I did take a water pill. That's kind of like a drug. hella drugs to make them all happy and nice and then they come off their drugs and be like I'm depressed yeah dumbass you can't pump your brain full of artificial serotonin and then think you're not gonna drop afterwards like literally oh my god you know what or dopamine and shit of course you're in a depressed oh, fuck me learn the fucking human body it's so simple learn how that bitch works and you'll be less inclined to fuck it up Meanwhile, the system is designed for you to fuck it up so they can make money off pretending to fix it, but really just, what's the word, putting you in a, in a state of uh, suspended animation, like, modern medicine's not meant to heal, it's drugs, they want you cracked out forever, restless leg syndrome, I do not have anything that smells like Egyptian musk. I don't, well, to be fair, I don't know what Egyptian musk smells like, but I'm going to imagine it smells fake. I don't do artificial. I apologize. I've also never heard anyone say that anything I make smells like Egyptian musk, so I'm going to go ahead and assume I don't. Nigga, you know what sent me? First, it was restless leg syndrome. When, okay, watch this, right? So I don't really pay attention to commercials and I don't really watch TV. Well, now I do a, a little bit more than I used to anyway, but like to the point where my dad one time was in my house and was like, you have a television? Yep, in every room, but they were never on. To be fair, I'm not even sure what I had them for. I guess just in case I wanted to watch uh, television. But long story short, CBD is legal everywhere, baby. And that's used for pain, too. Anywho, that's the medicinal properties. Any, I'm not talking to you. As I was saying, what was I saying? I was, some commercial came on somebody's television one day in passing. And commercials, I don't know if you noticed this, but they're always louder than the actual program. 
that's to get your attention so that you pay attention. And even if you're not paying attention, they make it louder so when you walk away, you can still hear that shit in your subconscious. Yeah, do y'all be paying attention or not? Because I noticed that shit when I was like five. I remember asking my mom why. Why the commercials so loud? Yeah, you shouldn't take steroids. That's insane. Anyway, so as I was saying, I one of the commercials came on one day and it was like, it was an advertisement for some drug. Couldn't tell you what the drug was. Don't care. I don't take drugs like that. Um, long story short, at one point they were like, you know, when they at the end where they always tell you like potential, what's the word I'm looking for? Symptoms or side effects? Side effects. Side effects may include. And it was like restless leg syndrome. And I remember thinking, what the fuck is restless leg syndrome? Bitch, restless, you out here tapping your feet? So basically y'all prescribing speed to people? I remember a few years after that, restless leg syndrome got its own drug. I said, so you get them hooked on the speed. Then they can't stop tapping their feet, so you put them on another drug to calm it. Y'all niggas is asking for a heart attack, but never the fuck. I never understood people who used to do heroin and speed at the same time. I said, so y'all just want to die. In fact, that's how one of my homies died. Poor little heart couldn't take it. Little tinker just tinked out. Your show ruined my life. I don't have a show, dummy. You ruined your life. But what you won't do is blame me for some shit I don't even get paid properly for. Go tell Angela her show ruined your life. Because allegedly that's who it belonged to. Which is probably why I don't get paid properly. Because she gets paid too much to do absolutely the fuck nothing. Boring bitch. You're boring. You're not a good actress. She tried to cry once and dust came out. It was amazing. Amazing. Like actual dust. At one point, me and my homies was watching like, she trying to take a shit? I know she not trying to squeeze out tears. That girl is constipated. Maybe it's turtling and she's trying to keep it in. I'd be a good actress. I used to panhandle for a living. I have life experience. You know all the best actors have been through some crazy shit in life, right? That's why they can call on pain and uh, emotion so easily. acquired the rights to the show I don't fucking know ask her she really uh, I don't know that she has the rights to the show but allegedly she's the creator she created the show that's why she gets paid so much to not go to work narcissism be real as fuck yo 
I just, sometimes I worry that I'm not as entertaining as I think I am. Because I really be feeling like I deserve a lot more than I get in life at times. And then I'm like, but if I really deserve more, wouldn't I get it? Maybe it's coming and I'm just impatient. But or also maybe I'm completely fucking delusional like some of these bitches. I can do my own nails. I have not been lately. I haven't had the time. Also, I've been eating uh, manis and petties at the same time, and I'm not, I'm, shit, that's a day of pampering, baby. I don't have time for it right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just keep getting up. Hey. I'm gonna hit the ceiling, ceiling. But you know what? I, I hear y'all. I'm saying it's coming, and I'm gonna go ahead and be positive and manifest that shit. I will have my own show. I was. I will say this though, and I do not intend to sound ungrateful, but I feel like, um, I feel as though. I'm not actually properly supported. Like, motherfuckers love to gaslight and be like, you're amazing. You're a star. Shut the fuck up and prove it, bitch. Prove it. You treat this motherfucker like she shits goddamn gold bricks and whatnot. Fuck her and her weave. It is a nice weave, though, often. It is. <laughs> but that's all she got going for herself. Them stupid-ass chicklets and shit. I'm sorry. Just feeling away in the moment. Because I really am absolutely fucking tired. I have been jumped on the show twice. I have had to emote several fucking times just to make a scene when this bitch didn't show up for work. Then she has the audacity to be like, I don't want to film with her. So now she's running this fucking narrative that I'm somebody uh, that nobody wants to be around. Had motherfuckers talking about, that's why no one likes you on the show. Are you sure? Because they be trying to suck my pussy when the cameras is down. What is you saying? Everybody wants me to like them, and I don't. I like Bacos. I mean, I like some people, obviously. But realistically, I just feel like I work really fucking hard, and I deserve a little, a little bit better, you know what I mean? When you niggas can't figure out a scene, I pull it together for you. When you don't have a location, I find one for you. One that works, and usually for a very low price. I save y'all a fuckload of money, and this bitch wastes it, and I don't understand why I'm not being thanked properly or appreciated properly. Does that make sense? Do y'all feel what I'm saying, though? Okay. Ooh. Also, let's be really clear. I'm going to toot my horn real quick. I'm talented as the entire fuck. I literally make a bunch of shit from scratch all day. I paint. I can sing. I write my own fucking music. I have a band. I used to dance. I don't dance so much. Oh, 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 no. I got a little gangsta about 14 years ago and I stopped dancing. I just two step. That's a lie. I salsa dance from time to time. And I don't need makeup. Why y'all playing? Why are y'all playing? If I had my own show, I could literally entertain you every single day, every single way. I fuck around. Just the people I encounter on a regular basis. Oh, and I cook. Right. And I bartend. I can make a new cocktail for every fucking episode of the season if I wanted to. But they ain't trying to let me win. I don't understand. Maybe it's because I made all those jokes about white people back in the day. I thought... I just thought they would be less sensitive after slavery and shit. Oops. 
thank you. I make my food from scratch too. We a different breed. Have you ever noticed that people who cook from scratch, we really just we we be looking ooh, baby. I don't even know how to describe us. Is it bougie or cause we really be full of ourselves and I will frown my nose up at all kinds of shit like is that Lowry's? No, I'm not hungry, thank you. No, it looks nice. That's a real nice plate, girl. Which IKEA. Yeah. It smells great. It smells great. It is therapeutic for me as well. Honestly, it's cathartic. Like, it's real dope. And it becomes like a form of meditation. The chopping of the vegetables, the preparation, the cleaning as you go. So. Favorite vodka cocktail, baby. Oh, I thought you were somebody else. I was going to say, you've been here long enough to know I don't have no damn favorites. I just make shit up as I go. Contingent upon what I've got in the, in the store. And uh, what I feel like drinking. And I really don't drink vodka unless there's no good shit around. use Larry's. Oh, so you missed the joke. I frown my nose up at that. I only use raw seasonings and I blend them together. I don't like MSG and I don't use unnecessary salt. I don't want gout later in life and I don't want to be bloated right now. That's probably actually why I needed to piss all that water out. I had some pasta yesterday and was like, this shit is 99.9% salt. It, like, hurt to eat it. I was very upset, but I had paid for it, so. I'm not a toddler. I don't have favorites. And, yes, I was a whole life coach. I just can't take on, not unnecessary, I can't take on extra things while I'm doing other things because you need to know your limits, what you're capable of, when you're capable of it, and for how long. And at what times? If I don't stay alive, I can't help you. And I got bills. Bills is real. I need like $15,000 real quick. Buy my incense. (laughs) Seriously. Everything has excessive sodium. for, For real. I just, I don't even really salt food unless I need to. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't no salty bitch anyway, so... And you know what they say, you are what you eat. I mean, I can get a little salty. I think that's why I'm acting like this about this stupid-ass show today. It was that salty-ass lasagna yesterday. How you make a veggie lasagna salty? That salt is not even a proper fucking seasoning. Shut up. Sorry, I had to growl a bit. I'm mad. I get the perfect amount of salt intake from my baths. Thank you. My little dips into the ocean when I get snacked. Oh, Lord, I don't even eat Alfredo. That is disgusting. What is with niggas and Alfredo? What's wrong with... Why? Why do black people love Alfredo so much? Why? It's... Why? Ugh. Y'all didn't work in restaurants, that's why. I will never eat a white sauce at a restaurant. That is the craziest shit in life. And if I want a cream-based sauce, I will um, will make it at home.
thank you, baby. Buying badges and whatnot. What time am I getting off? I don't I don't work a nine to five. I pay the bills here. Yeah, change your mind state, baby. I do not work for other people. I wasn't designed to do that. I will leave when I want to. But the homie's pulling up around three to help me, so... I'll be here chilling. I don't know why you're asking what oils I recommend. What? Why are you asking that? Oh, because of fucking television. That's so annoying. They don't ever tell them stories the way they're supposed to. What's my occupation? Entrepreneur. Entertainer. Pretty sure it says these things in my bio. I entertain professionally. I pursue business ventures. personal space if you allow them to. La 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 The oil thing isn't false. That's not what I said. I don't know what you saw because I don't watch the show. So I don't know why you're asking me about oils, sweetheart. I said they always lying, meaning they don't get the story correct. So I don't know what they told you about oils. Do you understand? I know what I went there to do, and I know that it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. So I'm not even sure what they showed you, baby. I meditate all the time, yes. Because people hear what they want to hear. They've made up a narrative in their mind already about what it is. So you could tell them till you're blue in the fucking face that one and two make three. And they'll be like, yeah, but you said one and. Why do they lie on the show for ratings? You complimented Vanessa on her scent and she said she's been using the oils you recommend. See, I don't even recall that ever happening. Did you see her say it from her mouth? Did you see it say it? Did you see her mouth word that? Because it could have been ADR. I don't know. But I don't recommend oils for no reason. I recommend them specifically, but I don't know you to recommend them to you. Do you get what I mean? You have to talk to me. Really, I do that shit for clients and whatnot. Like, you book me, you know what I mean? BriannaLatrice.com, when I'm available, for a consultation, because time is money, baby. And then I recommend all kinds of shit for you. But I usually do that to my, um, to people who book readings and shit. Yeah, 
Man, if I just like worked out again on a regular basis, became a bad bitch, combed my hair, put lotion on my ankles, because I don't know why they're so dry right now. They dry as hell. Maybe it's all the dust from in here. But if I did that, I could probably like maybe, you know, catch a date with a rapper or something. Get knocked up and then my business would blow up. I do not do Pilates. I should. Fully aware that I should. I just don't have time right now while I need this 20 bands. Yes, I said 20. Fuck it. I'm gonna get 15 million real quick. That's what the fuck I need to do. And I'm going to find it too. Today. I treat people like they're children so I can be patient with them. You get me? That's why they be getting offended when I talk to them like they're children, but they don't like the alternative either, so, you know. Pick a struggle. Spice margarita, that sounds disgusting. I mean, but to each their own, babe. But oh lord, that's done. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe you meant martini. Still, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I'm gonna get the ceiling. Uh 
fact that I made some of these in the dark. Because the power went out last night. That's so amazing. I love me. What's the rainbow for? What is, why would you, that's so weird. And who is us? They already know about my incense. You late. Why do people do that? Why do people try to group themselves with people who are already there? Like, tell us about your incense. Tell who? You? Just you. Raise your hand if you know about my incense. Please and thank you. This shit I've been talking about all day. All day. This man wants my throat to be dry rather than just clicking the link in my bio and reading the descriptions that I spend forever in a day writing. I feel it. Make me work double time. I'm sick of this life. You know what? Humans don't appreciate me. Being me the fuck up. I'm ready to go. I have been ready since 86, nigga. I got here and it was dusty as fuck. I'm ready. My bag's been packed. I don't even need shit from this earthly world. We out. Grab my baby and look. We come on, man. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. Bitch, work 24 motherfucking seven. Nigga, could you work a little bit harder? Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck it. Mm -mm. You don't want it. I could pay somebody, but they're going to do a piss poor ass job. <sighs> I'm ready to go. I just want to know when the ship is coming for me. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make whatever jokes I made that got me banished to this shithole, but I, my lesson has been learned. I have learned it. I'm lying. I have not yet. I'm sorry. I, I lied. I just... I, could you send me some help? Please? Always stay cussing someone. You know what's really annoying? That you don't even know what I was just talking about. Because I wasn't cussing at anyone at all. I was making a joke. But you are dull and I don't like it. Please go away. Thank you. Go ahead. Black history question. I just feel like this planet here might have been an experiment gone wrong and I don't want to play anymore with this I want the, the real world the good one first of all I'm not always in a 1000 also stop telling strangers to calm down dumbass like seriously I need you to go away now because you're dull dull And I'm pretty certain you're a man, so that makes sense. You're likely old or you come from a misogynist. Because if you didn't, you would know that you don't tell people, especially women, to calm the fuck down. I'm not even tripping. I'm actually chill as fuck. I'm in my office doing what I want to do, living my best life, making jokes for people. 
Also, you're not even speaking proper English. Please have several seats before I kick you out of this live. Something about your energy is interbulating. Ooh, let me dumb it down. It irritates me. It's like an itchy sweater. And I want to take you off and take you out. <laughs> Silently enjoy this shit or get kicked out. We ain't got no minutes. It's a point five. Um, Key, sweetheart, I got this. I do what the fuck I want to do. Thank you. He ain't taking no energy from me. It's literally what I do for a living. Mind yourself. And the gap. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the cafe's open yet. Grand Rising, sweetheart. How are you today? I'm playing with trolls. I'm also busy. It's taking me forever to do this right now. I don't know why. You know what? That was rude. Maybe he's not dull. Maybe he's Jamaican. allow um people in my inbox so y'all be sending dms to nobody i don't get them if i'm not following you i don't get your dms at all why the fuck would i allow that that doesn't make sense you have to create healthy boundaries for yourself and i have set healthy boundaries because i refuse to allow strangers to contact me all willy-nilly all day i don't know why people feel so intense like i would never slide in a stranger's dms if it ain't productive and sometimes well to be fair sometimes what we think is productive is not seen as productive to somebody else so i just turn that shit off because niggas be in my dms like you're beautiful i know can i take you out nigga you don't even live here and you work a nine to five market get minimum wage how you gonna take me out sir you can't afford a spirit flight here. I was just saying, would you date a regular guy like me? No, because you're slow. I'll date a regular man with some sense. To be fair, no, that's a lie too. I'm going to date regular people. I knew what he meant. He meant celebrities. I don't date those either. I just don't date average motherfuckers. You need to have some sense to fuck with me. And since common sense ain't common these days, I can't date commoners. That was lucky as far. How did Raven and I become friends? 
Hey. She was sneaking into a party that I was sneaking out of. A party for my stepmother and I screamed. Fun fact, if I'm going to keep it honest. I saw her and I was like, that bitch is rich. I should rob her. And I went, oh my God, I love you. And she went, oh my God, I love you too. And I realized she was the same kind of cunt I was. And I was like, oh shit, I really love this bitch. So I walked up to her and was like, okay, all jokes aside, we should be friends. Then we hung out. I think it was because she knew I was being a sarcastic asshole and I knew she was returning the same energy and I just loved and appreciated it. We have similar personalities. She just knows how to be, uh, she's a celebrity. I mean, we've obviously changed over the years. People grow up, come out and move on. And we had a bunch we had a bunch of shit in common though. Like a bunch of shit in common, like at the time. Like she saw me with something and she was like, That's exactly what I do and I was like, Bullshit. She showed me and I was like, Bitch, do we just become best friends? Like it was dead ass one of those like, do we just become best friends? We were fucking inseparable. It was amazing. Inseparable. At one point, my dad was like, so you gay yet? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, you're 20. You spend all your time at this bitch's house. Y'all gay. I was like, we're not. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I was over there every day for years, so. And I never really came home. But it was cool. Like, she's a she's an incredible artist. So, like, we'd just sit around and paint and not talk to each other all day. And occasionally, she'd stop painting, come look at what I'm doing. I'd stop painting, go look at what she's doing. You know what I mean? We'd help each other grow artistically because she's way less of a perfectionist than me. Like, I was... I When we first started painting... This is many, many years ago. Not when we first started painting, but when we first started painting together... I was very, like, adamant about these crispy lines and everything had to be right. He was half white, right, and I didn't know it, though. But I had to have these crisp lines, and she was very free, and I used to be like, what the fuck, why can't I be like that? So I practiced being like that, and she wanted the crispy lines, so it was dope. Yeah, well, at the time, I didn't know she was gay. She had a boyfriend when I first met her. She had a few boyfriends. I mean, not at the same time, but I'm saying throughout our friendship. I don't care about... why Tyrone, why are you snitching? The, the person who comes in here talking about most people who say that be full of shit. That bitch is probably full of shit. Like 67% of people are full of shit. I'm full of shit most of the time. Not right now. I took a really nice shit last night and I'm good. But honestly, if I tell you I'm coming to your birthday party, I'm full of shit. I'm, I have every intention of going, but I know goddamn well that I would rather be here. Period. Now that person there, I ain't no telling what kind of shit he's full of. I don't want to know. But he's clearly salty. He's salty as fuck. He's just absolutely, he woke up very upset. I don't know who hurt him, but they did a number on him. They probably tried to school his ass, and he was like, fuck you, I'm going to continue to say good morning because I like being miserable. And that beautiful beast was probably like, good day, sir. Be well. Love and light to you. So now, because she left him for somebody with a brighter spirit, when he hears somebody say grand rising, he'd be like, fuck y'all. They full of shit. Mm -hmm. She just did.